S50 swap with the matching 5 speed. What is up you guys welcome back to the channel today what i'm going to be doing is repairing my e34 touring hatch wiring in the rear it's super common for wires to be breaking and not only these models e46 coupes convertible sedans i mean so many bmws e90s i've seen at my work where the wires would be broken any bmw really unlocking the trunk your license plate lights not working maybe on a your touring your rear wiper is not working for whatever reason probably is going to come down to some broken wires in your trunk lid in the area so this repair does apply to other models as well i already have everything taken apart here and check this out guys one two three four five six seven eight nine we got nine broken wires so i'm going to be repairing this today and um yeah let's get to it look at the undercovers right there they looking if you're doing this on an E34 Touring, you're going to have to open the back hatch glass. There's two clips right here. You just yank this straight up. It might be broken if somebody else was in here before. And there's also two Phillips head screws that go right here. So in order to access those, you're just going to remove this little rubber bump stop. You can see the Phillips head screws right there. Remove this one. Remove that one. And this entire trim piece can come off. The last step you're going to need to do is remove this little jammy. Once you have this off, you can yank this out to the side. What I like to do is I'll just use like a little razor blade and I'll cut in a circle all the way around this. And once you do that, you can slide the harness like so and take a look for any broken wires. They're always going to be broken lower down the harness in this general area because this is where all the folding action goes. And that's what breaks these wires. You're opening this hatch constantly up, down, up, down, up, down. The first wire I'm going to repair is going to be this uh, purple and black one. I don't have a purple and black wire in here, so I'm just going to go for the solid purple one. At least it's purple, I guess, right? And what you're going to want to do here is feed your new replacement wire through the slit that you made in the harness right here. So I'm going to go ahead and feed this through like so. And there she is coming out the opposite end. So now I have a wire all the way through like so. First things first, make sure you know you're cutting the right wire. So the broken wire is just purple and black is what it looks like to me. So I'm going to look up here for a purple and black wire, which is this jammy right here. And I'm going to give her a little snip. After that, we're going to strip the wire back. Do the same on the new replacement wire and what you're gonna have to do is solder these two wires together i'm gonna make it a little bit easier on myself and i'm gonna use these little heat shrink deals they come with solder built into them as you can see in the center right there i'm gonna slide one end in like this and with both ends in it's time to shrink this guy down and bam there we are guys one wire halfway repaired now what i'm gonna have to do is obviously connect this end of the wire to this side of the harness. Do the same procedure, let's do it. All right guys, so I'm just finishing up here and I wanted to talk about why you need to shorten the wires over here by one to two inches. I put that caution photo in, so. Anyways, the reason why you can't solder the wires back together in that same spot where it broke and need to shorten them is the wire obviously ripped in half in that spot so if you're going to solder or crimp it back together in that same spot it's just going to break the crimp or the solder joint again the trick to avoid this is like i was saying earlier you're gonna have to shorten these wires by one to two inches this way rather than your repair bending where the crimp is it's going to be bending on the new replacement wire you just ran and it should last another 10 to 20 years i'm using some extra beam w wire i have around the house uh, if you guys don't have any just go to a junkyard go to an e46 e90 e34 whatever the hell they have Tons of wires are behind the dashboard and uh, it's a free for all. Just cut a, cut a bunch of wires out and bring them home with you. Cheaper than the auto store, much better than what you're gonna pick up on Amazon because there's a higher copper content. So the final step to this repair is we're gonna have to patch the little slit that we made in the factory wiring harness sheathing. I'm just gonna wrap this up in some Tessa tape. This is that cloth tape you see throughout your BMW. It's called Tessa tape, guys. Go ahead and get yourself a roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of this out from here. 
wrap her on up nice and tight and you guys got to make sure you do this really tight otherwise it'll come unwound and just like that it's like nothing even happened guys so make sure you get some genuine BMW wiring harness tape to make your repairs look as professional as possible. So that just about wraps up today's video guys. I did the repair on both sides of the trunk. Everything works now. Both sides are the same process to repair. I would definitely check both sides for broken wires and you'll finally have a fully working hatch. Anyways though, if you enjoyed today's video, remember to like and subscribe. Definitely helps me out. And uh, yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching, till next time.